Oh, okay. I'm grabbing a phone charger and some water, and I'm just going to take a I quick mean, second. Yeah, you go ahead and do that, and I'll just start the episode while you're gone. Hi! Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. I can actually get a fucking intro in, because you won't be talking all Exactly, time. motherfucker. Actually, no, I'm keeping, just gonna... I'm keeping all of this. I'm keeping all of this. Anyways. Uh, I'm, and I'm moving a thing with a logo, apparently. Anyways, hi! <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Monster Welcome Crime. to ASMR water bottle filling. <laughs> Patrick is apparently filling his water bottle right now. This is taking much longer than I ever expected this to. Um, <laughs> I, was I like, knew it was going to take... Because we I, take forever to do anything. I thought, like... I thought the short version would be uh, like 30 minutes and that we would end up taking an hour. But it, apparently the short version is 45 minutes and we're going to take like two. <laughs> so <laughs> here we are. Um, anyways. Well, what was do- when we played Doki Doki Literature Club, I think we extended a 10 hour game into like 25 hours. So it's, okay. yeah, it's more like a six hour game that we extended <laughs> into 10. So, yeah. <laughs> anyways. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and be diving into uh, the next part of Monster Prom, uh, where I once again get to go around and up my stats and stuff. I'm going outdoors because I need more fun, damn it. And that day, during recess, you start a half hour rave once again, disrupting why, why can't everyone. You think of anything else to do. You're why casually you chatting. You're casually chatting with Juan, the small, magical Latino cat. Uh, <laughs> you start telling him th- that hilarious story of what happened last summer at Monster Camp. Which, by the way, is a sequel to this game. There's You're a kidding. there's a game called Monster Camp. Oh, man. And I, I, thought they called it, I thought they called it the last time at Monster Camp. Last time at Monster Camp. <laughs> uh... All right, you you know which one. The one involving the beehive, the blow-up doll of the president, <laughs> the penguin mask, what? and the mystery of the Goblin King. I want all of those to actually be worked into some piece of, like, fan fiction. They all need to be g- other games. Or, like, Absolutely. one game. Like, Dr. Langeskov, the tiger, and the terribly... A world <laughs> oh, with my pipe. God. It needs to be that a goblin king, uh, whatever, and a love world that. Heist. Love that, and it's just you misremembering the story and having to start over again, over and over again. <laughs> uh, slowly, lots of people start joining you to hear the story. By the time you say where the goblin king was, 100 people or so burst into hysterical laughter. But they're not 300 people, so you know it's really you know it's a it's a letdown from last time. Uh, you turn on a <laughs> mobile app that captures all the laughter. What? Okay. And turns... It turns... I'm converting laughter into fun. For myself. Like fucking I'm Monsters Inc. up in here. Into my fun. <laughs> now are you back? What? Are, are you back? It is time for you to narrate. Oh! Suddenly, you see Polly vomit ectoplasm all over her cell phone. You rush to help her. Ugh. I just got the 97th hay as an opening line on a horny dating app, TM. <laughs> I just had to puke out all of my boredom. Hmm. Huh? Hey. Hey. What am I supposed to do with hay? Whatever. Happened to reaching out to someone with a Fierce dick pic. <laughs> People are just copy pasting hey and sending it to every monster that looks halfway interesting. Just sending out photos of your dick to literally everyone. I mean, don't you? No. What about you? In fact, you? no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, uh, me, me, me too. Neither. Neither. What? <laughs> What's the correct answer here? Hey, Tumblr has porn again. It does. Today is a fabulous day. Tumblr has porn again, and Ned's been kicked off of Try Guys. I mean, yeah, that's also a thing. I yeah. no just, comment on this subject. We we've just successfully dated this episode. <laughs> exactly. I'm really proud of us. Anyways, 
What about you? Are uh, you a hay person too? I hope not. No, I I'd rather give you thick, juicy sh- personality. <laughs> I'd rather give you a fucking Russian novel. <laughs> If you read the horny dating app profile of a fun-loving spectral delight such as myself, what would you say to me? I mean, per- perfect excuse to just flirt at this point. I mean, uh, I like both of these options. I mean, I feel like she'd appreciate this. Plus, I think yeah. it's the fun option, I guess. I, oh, we can go over 10. Oh, yeah. What's the highest category or what's the highest rating? I have no idea. Whoa! It never pops out. Oh, we're not we're not gonna hit it, even if there is one. Wow! Uh, right. Hell yeah, drugs! <laughs> hell yeah, drugs! That's a great opening line. Also, let's do drugs. <laughs> you woke up an indiscriminate amount of time later, feeling like shit. Sounds about right. But happy about it. So, like unicorn shit, where it's rainbow or something. Where it's rainbow or something. I don't know. Where you run into Polly later, she's grinning like a lunatic, and it's clear something went down. Maybe one of you? <laughs> something went down. Hey there, cutie patootie. I had the best time the other night. Y- yeah. We should really do all this again sometime. And I mean, all of it. Even that zoo animal style stuff. Were we fleeing shit at each other? Yeah. Oh, great. hell yeah. You How did you know mug- I was into that? You left a couple of things at my place. I put them outside your locker. With that, Polly disappears, leaving you to wonder exactly what transpired between you and what article of clothing you left behind. Wouldn't you have known when you got home and you were missing your XYZ? But when you open the box marked Frankie, all you see are a pair of handcuffs and the last surviving Bresky Pigeon. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Hello? Uh, hi. Oh, oh, what does that mean? What's a Bresky Pigeon? I must I don't know. know. Oh. You think right. I know? <laughs> Neither of these things are yours, but you would hate for Polly to think you were lame. Apparently when she said zoo animal stuff, she meant some ste- Oh, she meant stealing a bird. <laughs> so it seems like maybe you guys didn't so much have sex, but she clearly wants to spend more time with you, so the hell yeah? Yeah. So I, don't, I, don't, I don't think you should Win. be stealing birds, frankly. Win. You go home with a huge, you go home with a huge grin and a new pair of handcuffs and the last surviving rescue could Whoops. Uh... What was the last surviving rescue pigeon? What was the last surviving rescue pigeon? You should the pigeon be more died. Kidding. Oh, what was the... I understand now. There you go. <laughs> Irrelevant. You gained Polly's admiration plus two charm and plus one fire. Hell yeah. Let's do this. Okay, Let's do give this. me a friggin' second. I gotta Google what a rescue pigeon is. Um, <laughs> I think I, think I, I need a lot more fun. Like, I, I'm still only at four fun. But you stole the fun stuff, so I can't do that. God damn it. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. I'm what telling you. Again? Charm. More charm. More charm. Where's charm. Again? Gym. So back to the gym. Which totally makes sense somehow. The day at every dodgeball match takes place. But the match isn't as important as the human, the human interactions within it. You know, you really bonded with your team. You're at your peak when you decide to go for the overkill and wink at one of your teammates. They come. Oh. Wait, He's really? totally mesmerized. It's the most epic <laughs> wink ever. The most Damn. epic twink ever. <laughs> the most epic twink ever. <laughs> Oh, damn, you know how to win over people's hearts and get them to jizz. Uh, You gain plus two charm. Yay, I'm charming. Hell yeah. You're smart, bold, and charming. And pretty damn creative and decently wealthy. You just have no time for fun. And Frankie, (laughs) you're describing my life. (laughs) You notice you know Liam that- and Miranda talking to a co- uh, talking to Coach. They actually seem to be enjoying gym for a change. Something must be terribly wrong. 
<laughs> you go over to see what it is. is a gift. <laughs> well, now, I'm all for inspiring athleticism in the hearts of the youth, but allowing you to make up your own sport seems a bit unorthodox, don't you think? Oh, but ordinary sports are ever so dull and unrefined. I'm sure we two could do much better. Go ahead and take Liam. I've already got an idea. Actually, I've had an idea for a sport. Plus, it's pretty much there everywhere sports. Wow. I call it art. Ugh. No teams, no rules. Just pure creative expression. And pure gag me on a stick. <laughs> Art! Brilliant! We will play it with watercolors and sequins, and there shall be a sports bard, and a goalie, and a goalie laureate, and... <laughs> it's so good to see you kids getting enthusiastic about wholesome physical exercise, but I gotta say... Art doesn't really sound like a sport. Why doesn't have the word bowl anywhere in it? I mean, come on. <laughs> That's easily solved. We'll call it art ball. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, yes, obviously that's much better. But let me ask you this. How do you score points in art ball? Huh? Liam and Miranda both look at each other, totally stumped. Their dream hangs in the balance. Time to step in. Oh! What you got for me? Okay, obviously, the sports bar assigns inspiration kicks to the metaphysical linebacker, who scores 11 points for each poem he successfully publishes in the Atlantic. Didn't you read the rule book? And, don't you see? The points were inside of you, outside of us, all along. <laughs> so I think either one of these is going to work for you because I think top one's smarts and the bottom one is charm, probably? Yeah, I'll, I'll keep with charm because it does not give me a plus one anyway. I think so. Don't you see? The points were behind, in, were inside of us all along. Obviously. Just like I, so charming. Like, there we go. Yeah. My god. You're right. <laughs> I've become so obsessed with the points out there that I've forgotten about the points in here. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's mostly my high cholesterol. <laughs> you, you kids have taught me a valuable lesson I, today. My, For, I left a trail of shutty clothes as we speak. <laughs> it's fr I should be dead, honestly. Um, <laughs> Eric, he stopped again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's it's a real kidder. Anyways, from <laughs> on, points are hereby hereby banned from all of our sporting events, at least until I forget I said this. Does that mean we can make art ball a varsity sport? Of course, <laughs> the only real sport after all is togetherness. What is this hippy dippy bullshit? Was my charm so good that I just like like what's uh what's is that charm person the magical ability? Yes, yes, you, absolutely. I've magically just turned this person into somebody else. <laughs> Basically, Liam and Miranda throw themselves into recruiting a team. Coach bans points. The way your team was doing this year, hardly anyone notices the difference. <laughs> you gain plus two charm and plus one boldness. Congratulations, yeah. you're at 11 charm. I'm very bold and very charming. Damn right. Everybody choose a celebrity, uh, Ryan Reynolds. Rutro, my internet is having issues. Great. Cool. I think I'm back now. Hello. I Everybody. choose Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> choose a celebrity. Um. Okay. In three, two, one. Ryan Jennifer Reynolds. Aniston. Okay. Player order is decided based on how likely it is that the selected celebrity is secretly related to Frankie. <laughs> I mean, they are both vaguely white, so. I mean, yeah. Do you have any? Do you have any Reynolds in your family, or uh, no? Any uh, any Anistons? No. But I definitely feel like, personality-wise, I'm a little closer to a Ryan Reynolds than a Jennifer Aniston.
That's true. You probably have some similar. Though I will say, yeah, I'll if give you, you look I'll at you that. if you look at like my cousin, she kind of she looks more like Linda Carter, but she kind of looks like Jennifer Aniston too. She looks more like Linda Carter. Have you seen Linda her? Carter? She looks you know, like Linda you, Carter. You know, you get me. You get me. Um, I had a I had a waitress. She looked exactly like Eleanor Roosevelt. I have to say. So should we just randomize it? <laughs> Yeah, or you can pick for you can pick yourself. Pick yourself. Uh, yeah, I'll pick myself. Why not? Let's I'm do it. Fun. Week two, noon. Well, let's go. Let's go. Come on, Frankie. Come on, Frankenstein. Frank you Steen. you know Steen. I gotta go for my girl. Wait, does that mean I can't sit with my girl? Apparently not. <gasps> ah! This is the consequence of letting me go first. All right. Narrator? Molly and Miranda sit together, <laughs> surrounded by Miranda. I told you forgot. Miranda's custom and a crowd of serfs. Uh, he's pulling a, he's pulling a, an Orson Welles. She's, uh, <laughs> oh, French. Oh, the French. <laughs> Sound there. So wait, you actually got serfs who eat for you? Disgraceful. Well, of course. I find eating to be terribly undignified. So I almost never do it. I <laughs> just accidentally turned on the Thera gun that's sitting here because it's touch control. <laughs> so I'm just saying. I didn't realize here. you were feeling that type of way about this game. Yeah, apparently. It's not that it's heated hot. yet. I mean. Yeah, it's hot. Uh, uh, hey, me neither. What other kinds of crazy surfs you got there? Well, I have a surf to go to the bathroom for me, a surf to experience difficult emotions for me, and a surf for keeping my silverware in alphabetical order. I even have a surfing surf uh, for standing on top whenever, for standing on top of whenever I go surfing. Just like sitting on top of the shoulders of yep. someone. Absolutely. Amazing. I'm pretty sure that those are in like the old like surfing movies where you'll just <laughs> yeah. see stacks of people. Wow, that's a lot of surfs. It's a fair amount. The only limit is my imagination. Unfortunately, my imagination surf imagined a way to a way to escape from surfdom. So now I'm all out of ideas. Sounds about right. Well, I'm sure with the help of Frankie, we could probably think of a dope new kind of surf. I do have to say, if how am I supposed to be interested in this person if she literally has no personality other than the characters that she surrounds herself with? Just saying. Uh, uh, hey, listen, the character I'm going after is 98% drugs. Is incorporeal drugs. Yes. It, it is is floating PCP. Listen, we're gonna have a. a, a uh, an experience much like ecstasy. <laughs> Translucent MDMA. Oh, is that so? I can't wait. Well, you're on the spot now. What will it be? Uh, oh, Miranda, you should get a puppy surf. It's not actually a surf. It's just like, a, it's just like 50 cute dogs. Oh uh, you should obviously get a party surf, Polly. A surf to experience your hangovers for you. Oh, but I want pup. I want 50 puppies. But no hangovers. Come on. <laughs> a, 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 a surf? For me? I know you're I miserable. Possibly. <laughs> I know you're miserable. I didn't choose the puppies. No, I'm just, I'm just upset there's not 50 puppies. Why not? I do it all the time. <laughs> But isn't it wrong to make someone else experience the negative consequences of your actions? Well, like I said, I do it all the time, and Father says I can do no wrong. Therefore, it's probably fine. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Let's hire a dude to deal with all my withdrawal symptoms. Hire? Polly, dearest, we don't pay our serfs. We don't? <gasps> Sweet deal! That's Indentured slavery. Servitude. Yay! <laughs> Anyways. Polly hires the burliest hangover surf she can find, and the mm. two of you go out for the night of your lives. The surf is dead in the morning from the epic hangover, but the <laughs> memories are well worth the second degree manslaughter. My god, he died. Let's uh, do this. Dead surf. 
Uh, well, let's go meet someone new. Oh, who's that in the upper right? Oh, I think that's, uh, uh, there's actually a group of them. They're the, like, witches. Ooh, well, let's meet a witch. Okay, let's do it. You were, you, were... Planning, you were planning to sit by yourself today, but the only table you can find is partly taken by the coven. The coven. You do feel kind of sorry for them. After all, no one ever seems to want to sit with them. We are here to save the day. We also speak in unison. Fabulous. Oh, good. <laughs> it's you. We can practice one of our spells on you. And this is probably why. Oh, don't look so worried. We're preparing for an upcoming battle with the disgruntled Lord of the Seventh Circle. And if we don't do our homework, we'll have a hell of a time beating him. The audience laughs. Wait, audience? <laughs> anyway. I want an audience to follow me around and laugh all the time. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Get surfs for that. Uh, <laughs> That's frankly how I choose my partners. Just whoever laughs at me the most. <laughs> that... that Mm, yeah, I feel that that oh, you're yelling now. Uh, <laughs> anyway, we've got anyway we've got two spells we've been meaning to try out: magical enhancements to help us beat the big bad. Do you think we could we could try one on you? Pretty pretty please. Absolutely. Oh. Uh -uh. Aw, says the audience. You know a magical enhancement doesn't sound half bad. You can choose either of the two options. The spell that lets you see the future and also the past and the present. And you can and you can watch live TV anywhere. It's a cell phone. Uh, nah, you want to go for something a bit different. Let's do the spell that turns you into two helicopters. <laughs> um, I'm not interested in being two helicopters, so I guess I will see the future and the past, and uh, I currently see the present. So yeah, I, I feel like the last one isn't much of an upgrade. Uh, the the, I mean, the last well, one's yeah. kind of an upgrade. I mean, watch watch live TV anywhere. It's... I mean, that's pretty that's pretty chill. You just have a little something rolling. But it's the side. cable. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I could deal. <laughs> Anyways. The choice is made. Broadbendium Maximum. Wow. Alright, suddenly you can see everything. Everything. Everything! You can see how the world will end. You can yeah, see how the world line. began. You're, you know, like, uh, you're just going to the Doctor Who tunnel and it's just like... <laughs> You're you can see like your parents the... fucking. Yeah, you're in the tunnel. You're in the tunnel uh, with Gene Gene Wilder, and he's going. There's no earthly way of knowing. And there's chickens' heads being chopped off. You also see a spaceship with uh, with Dave from 2001: A Space Odyssey. How many Just... other references? You also see uh, 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 Sandra Bullock uh, um, in a feather costume on stage. Mm, makes sense. Anyways, you can see your parents having sex. Even though you totally don't want to. <laughs> it's a curse! No! What's I more... I, also, I haven't watched Miss Congeniality in like a decade, and I love that I, that was the first place I went. What's more, you can watch every single episode of Where Weasel, Weasel Detective, at once. Do you think they all line up kind of like that uh, audio of... Uh, uh, it's entirely Rogan? possible. Yeah. <laughs> all right hello are you still alive lunch is ending uh we're going to study for the next period you probably should too who needs to study you literally know everything already you gain plus four smarts and an entirely Whoa. different perspective on your parents <laughs> i am crazy smart and yeah bold. apparently everybody chooses a food Three, two, one, pizza. Pizza. Oh God. Uh. I, okay, we'll take that. Player order is decided based on how funny the nickname Amira the Cool. Your food choice would be. Hey, I'm Amira the Cool Sushi. Hey, I'm Amira the Cool Pizza. <laughs> I think they're both equally dumb. I kind of like the sushi one more. Yeah, let's go for yeah. it. Yeah. All right, let's do it. 
Cool Siege. Cool Siege. You must Let's use do this. the force. Okay, you got one last chance. None of these are shops, apparently. Um, okay. Uh, well, I guess I should just keep going in the smarts, bold, and charm categories. Just kind of max those out and leave everything else. Okay, so or which one should, do you want to do? Or should I get a little more creativity? I don't know if it matters. Let's do something that we haven't done yet. Okay. Uh, what's that? Would be class? Class is the only thing we haven't done, right? Or library. We haven't done library either. Uh, you can do you can do library. library. Cool, I want to go to library. Okay. That day. <laughs> that day you spend some time on the library's PCs mining some bitcoins. <laughs> this is supposed to be to have something to do with solving algorithms and the rise of cryptocurrency, but you guess that nobody actually has any fucking idea how it really works. <laughs> Anyways. You gain plus two bitcoins, which is equal to plus twenty two million dollars, which unfortunately is equal to two monster dollars. So plus two money. <laughs> Cute. You gain money by going to the library? Yes. Oh my word, what a wonderful, beautiful, exciting day. I hope someone can share in my joy. My great Aww. aunt sea monster, unholy terror, McCracken face of Cthulhu. Oh, wow. McCracken face of Cthulhu. That yeah, just, that just rolls right off the tongue. McCracken face of Cthulhu. Uh, uh, <laughs> has just received Cthulhu an class. award for her work with shipwrecks. <laughs> she's now one of, she's now one of their leading causes. Wow. I Why want to. Crack, McCracken face oh, oh Cthulhu, yeah, actually. Uh, I just that. <laughs> I'm not going to. Uh, <laughs> uh, I want to send her my congratulations, but no one from the Postal Service will go near her lair for fear of their lives, obviously. Uh, oh, if only some brave hero would volunteer to deliver this important and time-sensitive missive. Why like is that's... a letter of congratulations so time sensitive, you ask? Well, it's because of. Well, you see, it's that these are very special congratulations with instructions to do something congratulatory for herself, you know? Just get her the letter. <laughs> There's something fishy about this request, but you've never let that stop you before. You come up with a foolproof plan. That's not let you stop you before. You're Amira the sushi. Oh yeah, Amira fish. the cool sushi. Uh, hire Scuba, the underwater taxi service, to deliver the letter for you. Beautiful. There should be an umlaut over the U. I'm pretty sure. Scuba. Yeah, we're going to hire the scuba. Uh, and dynamite the toilet. <laughs> Dive into the sewer and swim there yourself. Um, I'll hire Scoober. Hire Scoober? Okay. So wealthy. <laughs> With just a touch of a button. Oh, you shit. Are Did able... I piss her off? You are able to call a Scoober driver to your school. Did you I piss give her him... off? I have no idea. You give him very specific instructions as to the latitude and longitude, but conveniently leave out the part about the sea monster. Wait, I thought I would go with the scuba. I don't, like, you don't hire a scuba to, you, you go. Oh. It literally said to take it there for you. Oh, I didn't understand that. Uh, you didn't reach the end of the sentence. <laughs> no, I, the sentence was too long. Yeah, honestly, it was like 12 words. Uh, <laughs> a few well, days I, later. Something tells me you might be winning this one now. <laughs> oh, who knows? A few days later, you see the fruits demur, uh, of d uh, the fruits the, of the, the sea. Oh, fruits of this guy. I, I, I believe that's what that means. Yeah. Uh, that's what I thought it meant, but I didn't understand it. But now it, when you said it, fruits of the mare, it makes sense. Fruits of of the fruits de mare of your labor. Oh, you wonderful person. The letter reached great aunt sea monster, unholy terror, McCracken face of Cthulhu with no problem. And I somehow got through that. I'm really proud of you. Thank you. you think I'm you proud could of me too. And she was... Quit? 
ever so grateful for the delicious midnight snack. She ate the scuba driver. <laughs> she, said, she said she would act on the letter immediately. Act on the congratulations that I sent by thanking me. But she did. So it's all over and neatly wrapped up now. Nothing further happening here. I'm confused. She, she's a politician's daughter. There's a lot more going on than just writing letters. Yeah, it definitely sounds like it. Ah, uh, yep. Seems entirely legit. Great ant sea monster unholy <laughs> mo- uh, bleh, No. <laughs> Great ant sea monster unholy terror McCracken base of Cthulhu. Gain a crunchy victim of gig culture. <laughs> <laughs> and you wow. gain plus three charm. Damn, plus three charm? Let's go. Hell yeah. Oh, you I'm are shit stacked now. up right now, man. Uh, uh, you know what? Fucking more fun for me, please. Yeah, you need a couple more fun if you're going to match my 14 charm. Damn right. Uh, you, you, you know we're not competing with each other, right? No, I thought we were competing, and no. only one of us can date, and the other one gets shot in the head. No, no, we're, 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 we're going after different people. <laughs> Oh, I said no. Like I said, the other one gets shot. I thought that was part of it. The other one gets like I mean, yes, murdered. I mean, yes. Ah, got it. Okay, but that doesn't stop you from dating them. Oh no, no, it has nothing to do with the game. I, I, I hired <laughs> like, a guy on Craigslist. Gets shot. It's Monster School. I mean, come on. I, no, I hired a guy on Craigslist. Oh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> That day during recess, half hour rave, lovely. Juan the magical Latino cat. Wow. This is just. Uh, oh, but you decide to go all in and pretend it's a new dance move, apparently called the Groovy Musaka. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Juan looks at you and he asks you to teach him the Groovy Musaka. <laughs> uh, in no time, half the party is following your steps, enjoying the Groovy Musaka with, all together. It's a party to remember, you gain plus two fun, and a cool story to tell your grandkids someday. Here's a fun little factoid, because I'm full of those. Yes. And I wonder if it's based on um, the original basis of the Amama Sam, Amama Sam, Amama Kusa, that's in, what, like three other famous songs, was on a, from a song called Soul Makosa, I believe, M-A-K-O-S-S-A. -S -S gotcha. Soul Makosa. I, so I wonder if that's a similar connection. I'm pretty sure musica is uh, a Greek dish. Fabulous. I'm like 98% certain. <laughs> well, great. I've, I've, uh, regardless, I've I mean, that was everyone with a delightful fact. That was a very interesting idea, at least. I'll just throw, I'll just throw some other ones out there later. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are you at? Is it me? Oh, yes. oh, I'm sorry. I was in the other room. I was doing my laundry. But none of that matters because tonight we're going on a date with Polly <laughs> to the casino. Oh, hell yeah. We're going on a date? Oh, uh, yeah. I love casinos. They combine my three greatest loves. Bad life choices, risk, and addiction, and getting fucked up. And That's being really bad things. at counting. <laughs> Did I say three greatest, greatest loves? <laughs> I meant three, but... The number between three and five. It's, it's right. called four. It's called four. It's... I'm already blasted. Yeah, totally. I'm so excited about this casino! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Come on! Let's make some disastrous financial decision decisions. Show me how financial... Show me how fiscally responsible you can be, baby. <laughs> oh, you know I can be fiscally irresponsible. Oh, oh. man. I'm getting into this character of someone who's really fucked up. I think I'm doing it really well. Yeah. <laughs> you heard the ghost. What you're going to do? Okay, walk oh. up to the closest black jack, jack table and bet it all on red. Find the nearest yeah, horse race it. and literally bet, bet it all on turquoise. <laughs> okay. I don't see how literally either of life. these are based on my stats. It literally bet your life. Oh, wait, it's stats. Never mind. Uh, I literally bet your life you'd just kill yourself and uh, uh, then you'd be in the afterlife with her together forever. I feel like may, maybe mm, mm, no. <laughs> I, I, I like my I like my body. <laughs> my daddy right. put it together for me. Um, <laughs> His name's Geppetto. 
His name is Frankenstein. Oh. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna bet it all on red. So creative. Okay, I guess that's creative. You strut over to the blackjack. Oh, uh, that's you. You strut over to the blackjack table. Toss. Yeah, this is mine, bitch. You <laughs> strut over to the blackjack table. Toss a massive pile of chips at the bewildered dealer and ask you to put it all quote on red. Ah, oh, God, I fucking hate the other narrator. He's kind of a pompous <laughs> prick. Like, what the. <laughs> Uh, even the narrators have characters. <laughs> <laughs> what are you even doing? You can't bet on red and blackjack. That's a roulette bet. This is nuts. The dealer shrugs and takes your money. She turns over the next card. Oh my god, oh my god, it's red! Seven of diamonds, you won! You won! Oh my god. That's uh, not how it works, the dealer explains patiently. In blackjack, you have to go and cut me off. Just then a ball flies loose from the roulette table and strikes the dealer in the forehead, killing her instantly. What? Sick! More ghosts! And that ball totally landed on the red card! Then we double win! Hell yeah. Well, uh, you know what they say, all's fair in love and blackjack. You grab as many chips as you can from the table and you beat it before the cops arrive, gaining plus two money and plus one bold nose. Damn right I beat it. Beat it! Beat, Beat it! it. Alright, who will you ask to the prom? Oh, this well, would I... be so funny if you just suddenly switched people at the end. I know! I was just about to say! Who do you think I'm gonna ask? Obviously Scott, I mean... Obviously. No, I'm choosing myself. Can I ask myself out? Is that an option? It, oh, It no. says I none of them. Myself. No, yeah, Miranda. Okay, let's do it! <laughs> Ask Miranda to the prom? Yes. All right, Frankie, All right. who are you asking? And I ask out dating. <laughs> Gorgon girl. All right, Polly. Hey, boo. It's, Polly it's you and me, boo. Polly wants a Frankie. Let's go. Which narrator gets this part? You finally pluck up your courage. <laughs> and ask your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. It's mine. You took too long. Oh, well. Prom night? Yes. Yes. Yeah. You seem like the kind of person that would have us both ending the night in the hospital. <laughs> but in and a that's hot kind way. of unnecessary danger, danger I like in my ass today. <laughs> Let's go. It's time to make some wild and poor life decisions. Hell Let's yeah. Party till dawn. You ate some good old. You ate some. Oh no, it's you. I'm sorry. Go ahead. You can have your lies. I, I, oh, thanks, old man. Okay. Uh, you ate some good old. Uh, you, uh, you. Hey, other narrator. How, how do you pronounce that? It's ayahuasca. Ayahuasca uh, cupcakes. Age, to, age and wisdom come in handy sometimes. Uh, sure, old man. Okay, to make sure that the date would be crazy as as crazy as possible. Then they fucked. <laughs> then you spent all night dancing at prom. And I love these dresses. I know, right? So cute. I, I I really like uh, the the characters' outfit. Yeah, they're both really cute. Uh. That was what you thought you did. In reality, you were in the middle of the desert, <laughs> dancing in three wi with three wizard hobos, a guy in a stuffed animal costume, and the incarnation of an ancient god. Great. Still, best night ever. Let's do this. Fabulous. All right. Prom? Sure. How could I say no to my beautiful accomplice? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm what do I mean by accomplice? Um. I mean, it was clear all this time, right? I stole some eggs from that sea monster, then my serfs cooked an omelet, and you took pictures of the water polo team eating it. Uh, and, I did. <laughs> <laughs> and remember when we totally stole the addresses of the whole team from Principal Giant Spider's computer? Such uh, good times. Oh. Then it was just a matter of delivering the pictures and the addresses to the sea monster, who by my calculations will soon be hunting all of those impolite peasants down. 
they rejected me and I am sure it has always been clear that you do not reject Miranda Vanderbilt. So in a way, it was sort of all on them, right? Uh, <laughs> it has been uh, so sweet uh, of you, my charming... Knight hat. Uh, I know, it, it says king... It says king head test. Uh, it, it's definitely supposed to be knight test. Knight test, yeah, but no, it says king head test. <laughs> my, my charming king... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in shining, in shining, shining armor. Damn. Damn. Oh, it's yours. Oh, well, you feel a bit bad, both for being an accomplice to multiple manslaughter and for feeling weirdly aroused by Miranda's ruthlessness. I mean, I would be scared and horny at the same time. But love is blind, so a date it is. You have a delightful evening, and in the end, <laughs> isn't that what counts? It, it, isn't it? By the end of the night, Miranda even invites you. I don't know what that isn't it was. <laughs> isn't it? I have no. <laughs> I have no idea. I am an incorporeal voice that has no semblance of love or anything else. I'm reading lines off the screen. <laughs> By the end of it, Miranda even invites you to her house to show you the corpses of the water polo team, which she has stolen from their funerals. My God. This way they'll learn. You're Ooh. still troubled by the fact that kind of excites you. Excuse me? Miranda isn't troubled about being excited by a successful, merciless vendetta. She looks excellent uh, with this, the sword and the skulls. This, but, is, um, this is definitely... Uh, damn. Okay, here's what I want to say. I've yes. been watching. I've been watching the Jeffrey Dahmer uh, TV My show. My God, on I don't want to know where this. And, is going. Oh, no, <laughs> no, I it's, do. It's, it's definitely related. Okay. Um, and that show is weirdly horny. Yeah. But we also know what it's about. It is. Yeah. Um, it's a confusing watch, and, yeah. and I'm getting a similar vibe here. Yeah, I, I saw uh, I saw a video on TikTok basically be like, please stop making thirst trap compilations of Jeffrey Dahmer. Because <laughs> there's, I don't know, there's, but they're like dead, but he's like, but they're, it's really soft and tender. God. <laughs> Maybe I just want to be held. So you end up celebrating <laughs> your victory and flexing over what's left of her enemies. Beautiful. All right. That is a new ending that I had not gotten before. Hey. Cool. And I, we got a couple new events. That's cool. Uh, I was voted most likely to be Razgard, the space goddess of illusion in disguise. Yeah, that fits. I believe that. And your quote was, uh oh, Miranda's quote was, Oh, are we a, a, are we filing complaints? Well, not enough silverware diversity in the cafeteria. That's Adorable. the kind of diversity we need. Yeah, silverware Obviously. diversity. Yeah, I mean, yeah. makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, wow. so that brings our run in Monster wow. Prom to a close. Those two weeks were maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of our lives. Yep, After the, the monster that. prom, we kept on living our lives, falling in love, battling for friendship, and learning about who we were and who we could be. And you know what? Like it always does, life happened. And it was wonderful. Miranda started a nonprofit to help countries without a monarchy. <laughs> <laughs> because all countries should have the right to be graciously, graciously ruled by the this means kingdom. like a song underneath it it needs to be like uh, like at the end of a rom-com you know do you believe in the magic in a young girl Polly's you know drawing on Polly's drug cooking skills proved useful and she became a chemist for the pharmaceutical industry but in her free time she still cooks the real shit <laughs> Her greatest inventions so far are watermelon flavored ecstasy and a thing called LS Dope. <laughs> Yo, that's LS Dope! Scott became an athlete not so long ago. Uh, not so long ago, he won a prestigious national award for being the best at doing sports. The best. You're the best at 
doing sports. For those two weeks, the monster problem seemed larger than life. And then it was gone. Just like that. The battle for monster problem might have ended then. But there were still plenty of battles left in that war called youth. Because so many of them are still... You, 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 youths? They're in their, you know, early to mid 20s. Except so, for Liam. Know, still pretty young. Except for yeah, Liam, who's literally 400, 400 something. 400 and something. Yeah, and so one person is 19, so not quite 20 yet, I guess. That's true, yeah. that's true. Uh, yeah. But once again, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. What? This has been this, a wonderful is... thing. Thank you for allowing me to narrate this wonderful piece. You know, it's been really great. Uh... Oh, such a suck up. Oh. <laughs> you know, I, uh, I think it was uh, 1963 uh, when Oh my Bernard God, you're that old. <laughs> uh, but th like this the... is our stereotypical closing. Yeah, it's great. They all have to run away from the camera jumping. <laughs> um still i i'm pretty sure every that's your uh, character on stage and yeah, i'm playing it's, bass guitar it's all the main it's all guitar. it's all the player options in a band I'm, together for some reason uh nervous about people looking at me uh, there's a row why is there a freaking list where why didn't we see the uh slug monster i don't know the pink slug monster i'm only just seeing that now orgy planner one of the people was listed as the orgy planner. <laughs> That's orgy excellent. planner, lovely. I gotta, I gotta admit, furry characters don't do something for me, but alt girls do. Yeah. So I'm kind of into the cat. <laughs> uh, beautiful. Uh, so I'm pretty sure every character has like. Uh, every like dateable option has the like accepted ending, a rejected ending, and a uh, like secret ending. At least one. Uh, you got the secret ending with Miranda this time. Oh, uh, and there's Monster Road Trip. I got a secret ending, really? Yeah. Whoa. Uh, Just and I, I helped with all those things. Yeah, I guess there's like. Maybe there's a specific order that you do things in, or or specific choices that you do. Uh, wow. But uh, I have yet to get the secret ending with Polly. I don't know what it is. Oh. I have not looked it up because I do not want it spoiled for me. Uh, oh, really? Yes, because okay. I definitely plan on someday getting that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's all the time we got for this. How long has this fucking shit been? How long was this one? Oh, uh, this one wasn't nearly as long. Uh, <laughs> Maybe one... it'll be three half hours or something? Uh, I, uh, if I split that first episode, I mean, if, maybe if, uh, uh, there's a bit of dramatic irony because anyone watching this video can just look at the title. It's true. It just says it right there. It's true. It's part, it says right there that it's part three. Yeah. Part two. Or part two. Just edit which part it's crap. Yeah, totally. I'm not doing a single thing of that, no. But I know. <laughs> <laughs> Just comp that other part on. I don't have the time for that. Motherfucker. I have time for that. Hey, nobody got but time for that. Have, you don't have Adobe, Adobe Creative Suite. So. It's true. I. Well, you know what I don't have? Free what? time. <laughs> uh... Anyway, so. And with that. <laughs> Speaking of free time, thank you guys so much for watching this. You're about to get uh, a lot more. You of you just used your free time to watch this. Why? Was it was it worth it? <laughs> was it good for you? Was was it worth it? <laughs> this is the choice that you made with your life. <laughs> yep. Anyways, yeah. uh, thank you guys so much for watching this. Uh, it was a real blast. Uh, I definitely want to have you on for more stuff in the future, Patrick. Absolutely. And Happily. uh but for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button if you want to see more uh stuff like this, hit subscribe, and that will make me feel good on the inside and validate it. Uh and ring that little bell. So and ring can, that bell? So they say it does more, something. Yeah, you can more easily orgasm. It's true. <laughs> oh my god, is that true? It's true. 
I need to start ringing sure. more bells. You, you should ring, ring more one. bells too. Ring my bell. Ring, there it is. ring my bell. I knew it would happen. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>